Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about spec ads. In my previous video, which I'll link here, I talked about why I believe that spec ads should be one of the only free pieces of work that you should be doing as a photographer. So if you want to know more about that in the second exception for doing free work, go watch that video after this video. But today I'm just going to be talking about how I personally create an effective looking spec ad and the thought process behind it. So if you didn't watch the last video, basically a spec ad is a non-paid advertisement in which you're showcasing your skills or talents to a certain brand or agency. These pieces can be used in a variety of different ways like on your website as a portfolio piece or you can use it on your social media to showcase your creative talents or it can be used for content creation to show your behind the scenes creative process. Before jumping into a spec ad and getting all gung-ho there's a few things that you have to really consider before starting. Before you start creating a spec ad you have to think about the brand that you're targeting. Once you have a brand in mind then you can start researching the content that they're putting out already across their media channels. You'll get a really good idea for their brand messaging, for their brand style, and for their creative outlook. And start thinking about the things that might be missing from their platforms. Things that might showcase their product or their business in a different light or a new creative way. Spotting the gaps in problem solving is a really good thing to get into because as a creative, it's your job to increase the sales for this brand or the company that's hired you. So as you continue to do more spec ads, you're growing this muscle for creative problem solving, which is going to help you when you're in a real work situation and there's actually money at stake. Let me give you a real world example of spotting the gaps within a brand. So there was a company that created heated wearables like heated gloves, heated vests, heated socks, and I had actually bought in a pair of these heated gloves and I had reached out to them because I had realized that on their website as well as their social media they had very little content surrounding photographers that shoot in the winter as well as snowmobilers so they had absolutely zero content for snowmobilers and when I had reached out to them I had expressed that there's so much potential within the snowmobile community because as snowmobilers they stop obviously they have hand like heated handlebars but as they stop then you know they're eating lunch they're going to take pictures on their phone and like sometimes it's like minus 20 to minus 30 degrees celsius up top so it's minus 20 up top right now i'm freezing and it's it's pretty cold like i've got frostbite on two of my fingers when i was out shooting and it gets really cold and so that's why i bought a pair but i thought these snowmobilers could really utilize something like this and so spotting that gap and then pitching it to them and showing them the real world value of this concept and how valuable it could be to them they actually accepted the bid and they had said yeah let's work together work on this project and ultimately I booked that project so let's circle back how do I create the concept for a project so after I've analyzed the brand then I'm going to go and grab reference images so sometimes I'll grab a bunch of reference images from the company and then I will compare those to kind of figure out like their color dynamic and what color schemes that they like to use more often and then I'll also go on like Behance or Pinterest or Instagram and try and find really good reference images to kind of encapsulate what I want to showcase within this project so after that I'll storyboard the concept and then I'll begin to reach out to models or certain talent that I feel would be best for a project like this even if this project was shot for a specific brand you can actually send that out to different brands and say hey this is what I've created would you guys like me to do something similar for you by getting as creative as possible and flexing that creative muscle, you really can expand what you think you're capable of. Even if this project was shot for a specific brand, you can actually send that out to different brands and say, hey, this is what I've created. Would you guys like me to do something similar for you? They don't really care about the brand. They care about the concept. They care about the creativity. And sometimes when you're reaching out, that's all that's valuable to them. They don't care if you did that with a different logo on it. They just want to know that you're going to be able to handle the project in the way that they want it creatively done and that you're creatively capable to handle a project just like that. I hope this video gave you some insight into the value of creating spec projects, how to do spec projects, and then distributing those spec projects. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing. I'm going to be making many more videos just like this. If you're looking to upgrade your color grade game, you can follow me on Facebook where I post videos just specifically for Facebook where I go through editing my own personal images. I give you guys the photos so that you guys can edit with me and then we can grow together. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are in the world. All right, peace.